Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Darcy and this is Miss Adventures with Mixed Media. So it should be Messy Adventures with Messy Desk. But sometimes I work faster and I seem more concentrated, you know, like orange juice, when I have the video going for some strange reason that I don't even understand. Like, it's just a weird, a weird thing about me, I guess. Um, so, welcome to my channel again. Uh, if you don't want to watch me clean my desk, you probably want to fast forward a little bit. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. But sometimes, you know, it's cathartic. Or, I don't know what the word is, you know, to see a desk go from this to something much neater. Where is... Oh, everything's over here. What I want to work on is way back there. And it includes those papers that I just had. And I'm going to keep some of this lace out and about because in this doily, I will hopefully be doing some decorating today. Ooh, these are some... Well, oh, I need to keep these stickers out as well. Not stickers. What are they? Stamps. I call it stamps. I knew that. Surely I did. They call me Shirley. Oh my goodness. I've just got all kinds of um, just random stuff everywhere. It's ridiculous. I love this. I love this paper. I need to get some more of it. Oh, I'm going to figure out something to squirrel. Three dollars I got these for. No, they were not half off, but, and there's only one missing, I counted. It's the five, it's the dividers, and this one has the one, the five across, the little ones, and they're the hard manila cards. I looked, I looked, looked them up online, and I think it was like $21 for like 25 and these are 100 well, 99 So I was very excited about that, even though they weren't on sale. I bought something else at the thrift store too, but I don't remember what it was. And I had gone to Hobby Lobby as well. And look, isn't that cool? Won't that be fun like on a pocket for our, uh, this was fall, but I'm thinking this is going to come in really handle, hand, this is going to come in handy for a farm type journal. Guess I will put it in that drawer with my farm stuff. Alright, this is all just random. I use this a lot. I need to find, I need to just, tulips. I want the tulips. She likes tulips, so I want to have that available and handy. I don't think that I need anything from that far. So, just before I turned on the camera, I was picking out some book pages to add to her um, book. That's what I'm going to be working on today, Sonia's journal, in case you were wondering. I have a couple of those. Oh, I've got a couple more there. So, I'm going to be working on Sonia's journal. And, because that's what I've been putting off. These brushes can go up here with these brushes now. They don't need to go back in their magical, special, I'm more special than you container. Well, I got them, the long ones, I got this, this, these ones, no, this isn't the long ones. Yes, it is. This one's just shorter than the long ones. Um, let's, something, something pro, I don't know. They were $15 for a bunch of, um, brushes on Amazon, and they're really long, and I don't know enough about painting to tell you if, if they're better or worse than other ones. That's just the way it is. Some things will never change, but don't you believe it. All right. See, and then I get distracted because I find something like this under my desk, which should be in this drawer. Otherwise, how am I going to um, find the next book that I make? The one for Sonia is not a bound. It is a three ring. And I used... Oh, that's what I was trying to put away. Um, I used a cookbook as the base. And I just kind of like um, 
stripped it down. And there are some, I think there's a video. I wonder if there's a video from the stripped down part. Stripped it down and painted it, basically. How do all these, I can never find pens, but then there's like a million pens right here. Stick them in the cranberry cup. All right, and I just had that pad right there. I uh, typed up a bunch of words for Christmas, as you can see, and some also other words on this background. But I want to find my, I have some acrylic stamps that are labels, which of course, of course I can't find them. Why would I be able to find them? Also, I found my glue, but do you think I know where I put the little thing with this? Oh, I put them right there. Oh, look at that. Phew. I did not lose them forever, so let's need to get all this glue off of here. It's probably time to clean my needle tip with the hot water or something, but for now, I don't have to try to stick a pin in it anymore, but I still need to keep the pin available somewhere so that I can get out clogs, because you know I'm going to forget to put the cover on. Poly put, and there's the, so there were the two sizes. I don't have the back anymore. So the green one is the smaller, it's for sizes 2 to, and 10 millimeter, or US 0 to 15. They are covers, they are knitting needle covers. That's the word I want. And if, if the, um, the labels are too small for this, I will just cut them out and edge them and, and they'll be pretty. So these I actually might want to use in this journal right here, but these will wait for Christmas. And then I just used the background, backgrounds that I had purchased, so I cannot sell them digitally because the backgrounds belong to other people. But, you know, it's an idea if you um, have a font that you like, go ahead and put a bunch of, you know, put up a background you like and a bunch of words. Now, you need to pay attention that maybe you don't want your E to be right on a knot hole if you're using the wood. Unplug that for now. So there's that. Now you need anything? The sun has gotten up and he's roaming. Roam if you want to. Roam around the world. Okay. Scissors. These can go over there. I really should take those totally off the desk. How we, okay. At least we're looking a little bit better in front of the camera. I'm good with that. I can live with that. Now, I'm going to need this and this. And that one got bent up. Um, this and mm, probably some of these just to use to make some tags and stuff. And I want some music. Okay. need to figure this out so I can get it it's done and mailed out to her. I haven't made her pay for it yet because I know she will. She's got other things going on right now anyway. So All right. then I need also I never know what to do with my Tim Holtz people, but I think since there's going to be one section in here on, let's see, wasn't there a bride and groom in here somewhere? I thought that there was. Well, I'll find it when I'm ready for it, I guess. Anyway, alright, squirrel, let me go ahead and 
cut down these papers. Really wish that my stamp, that my labels would appear. They're in a little baggie, a little plastic bag. I never took them out of the little plastic bag they came in. And for a long time, I had them right up here in front of me, but I don't know. All right, I wrinkled up this paper, so I'm not sure I should put that in there now. But let me remind myself about my measurements. I think it's just under nine. Give or take. Yeah, it was just under nine. By uh, so whatever the line before five and a half is, five and three eighths. Hmm. Five, yeah, just under the half. But that cuts off my lotus, and we don't want to do that. But we can always fold it if we don't want to lose something. And even though I don't well still don't want to lose the these are the ones I want. So I think I will go ahead and oh, did I measure this way? Oh good. Don't have to don't have to lose more. Barely had to lose any. Probably didn't even have to lose anything. I don't know. And then I have this set up. I probably need to empty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. How do I open this again? This part right here. You gotta empty that once in a while, people. Especially if you've been doing a lot of cutting. Confetti. Yeah, it was getting stuck up in the... So this is an adjustable one. So when I need to move the holes, I just take off, I just unscrew these and move these where I need them. Right now, they, I think the very first thing that I ever made, I made it in a way that it would fit a three, a small three ring binder. And so then when I went to, oh, well, it was a... It was a five ring binder, but I just, I, you know, picked the three that were evenly spaced from each other and I did it that way so that if somebody found some already cut out pages for a five ring binder, they could just stick them in there. That's why I did it. And so when I came, when it came down to this book that I have, I'm going to use that for something else. It was perfect. So, all right, five and how much of the people do I have to cut off? And then we have this one, the fishing party, because her son loves to fish. And so I thought that might be cute. I don't want to totally cut off these girls over here. Yeah, I could fold it in. I always forget that, except I already have like a lot folded in on this. Truly, 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 I do. Okay, that's short enough. And that's, um, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is kinda like find my middle, where it's closer to my middle, and put my middle hole where that is, just so that it's fairly even when I put it in the book. And I'll use that for something else. And then this is just cute and fun to have. Because it is the constellations of the northern of the north, which is where they are. So that's at any time the north. And then this is just this fun um, German book I found. Alex told me what it meant. Something about the magic of the forest or something like that. So I just like to put. I like to just. It's and it was a vintage book too. So. They have fun pictures and nice heavy duty paper, which is fun. So that's fun to have around. And then um, this is just a Peter Rabbit story type story. But I liked, well, her husband's name is Peter. But also, um, 
Old Mr. Toad is always looking for Mr. Blacksnake, and so he's always seeing him. Folks looking for trouble usually find it, and I like that. So that's why between the, the Peter Rabbit and the, and the other bit, that's why I chose that page. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. Let's see. Right around the knot. Might be a little bit long. And then this one is the Happy Hollisters. And I thought that would just be cute because they have a lot of grandchildren. And it's like, you know, all the kids could be like the grandkids. And I just thought that was cute. So that's why that's in there. And we could just, uh, well, she's blonde, but still, they get the dog and the happy people on a horse, and I just thought that was cute. All right. So that's why that's going in there. That's it. No other reason. Also, it's a vintage book page. Vintage book pages we like. Okay. So right around the bow wow was the mail. Doesn't have to be perfect. And like I said, her husband's name is Peter. So I thought I would go ahead and use this in the front for this book belongs to. So I'm, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to cut it out and <laughs> like a normal person. <laughs> and not try to cut around those um, scallopy edges. I mean, I could scallopy cut it, but that's, that's a word, right? Scallopy? But I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna cut it straight-ish. Cause I think this side might not be straight, which is why all the other sides were then a little on the crooked side. And only by like a sliver. Without any in there. So there we go, there's my vintage pages. Are there any other pages cut? And I have no idea the order, and I haven't started decorating anything. I haven't even done anything to the inside cover except paint it. So I haven't decided if I want to just keep it like that, maybe put in some pockets. Or I think I thought about putting music in there. And then a pocket, maybe. I think that's maybe what I was thinking about. The maid with the set this flaxen hair the beauty huh somebody made themselves a little note there right, move these to the side so yeah this was already in there and I just used the cover and it had some weird it had plastic and some um, uh, other stuff in there and I so I just took it down to the naked cardboard uh, painted, uh, collaged it, painted it. You can't even hardly see any of the words back there. Um, and then decorated it. This is a piece of canvas. And I just roughed that up. And this has got napkin decoupaged over it. This was the original book, Cross Point Cooks. So it was a collection of recipes from a church in California. Thought I'd leave that in there just for fun. And then I've got a lot of places in here for pockets, and then I'm going to make uh, some smaller journals to go inside the pockets that she could use for, like, her prayer journal or whatever. So that was the idea there. Um, yeah. But first off, I think I will work on this. Oh, this would be cute, too. I mean, if I reprinted that... <laughs> If I wanted to reprint that. Alright, let me off my end here. Let me cut off my end. <laughs> straight would be good. Why does my thing not want to go straight on the end here? Oh, some guy behind me doing all kinds of work. Yes, yes, he is. All kinds of work. He was doing it yesterday too. But that means that the weather here is lovely. And that makes us happy. Lovely weather is good. 
even if it means people are working outside. I'm going to do my accurate measuring here. As soon as I find a pencil. With something of a point. So I'm about eighth of an inch on each edge so right there. And here I want to go all the way to here. Just about. Okay. See? Accurate measurements are important, right? Being able to see your little tick mark is also kind of nice. And I think I could just use, well, I don't know, because there is some fabric-y type. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. And this hopefully will cover a, a, a a myriad of sins, and then I wonder if I want this one, I think. Oh, except for I already have the hole in it, don't I? If I were to like glue that into there, and then that would cover that, would that wouldn't, I think I might do that because that'll just be prettier than what's there now. Which means I also want to cut it in half, so I'll do that. And then this side will be used on the other side. So yeah, I think I'll do that. First things first. I need to glue. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I'm gonna use this and the fab, uh, the art glitter glue. I think what's under here? A stamp, but it's not the stamp I want. This is not the stamp you're looking for. I should have set a timer or something. It's really nice when I don't have to merge videos. And also, it's probably nice for you guys to watch a shorter video. So, but you get what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and pause while I do the front and back cover. I thought I better show how I'm going to end up doing this. I think I'm only going to um, glue this part right here where that fold was. And that, I don't know why. I just, that's what I thought I might do. Now I realize I could just take it off and glue it down. But for some reason, I just want to try this. And then I'm pushing down into here and pressing down onto here. And looking around for my bone folder but for right now we'll use this back into this toothbrush that we use for painting get it down in there and then take our glue stick and use it as a bone folder and burnish this down there and then hopefully we'll still be able to close and open and it covers any mess that's in there. That's why. That's why I wanted to do it that way. I didn't know that was why, but yep. So just kind of makes it pretty all the way around. And I did not do any stressing on the edge here because um, I just didn't feel like it. I guess. I guess that would be why. So. And then the reason I had these, I think, was so that if I had some papers that were maybe short or that I didn't want to put holes in, I could kind of glue them in between and have them coming off of this, I think I was thinking. Who knows what I was thinking. And this is a pretty way to start. Spread your wings and fly. And perfect. They got, they got the same creamy color. Got this pink in here. So... Now, I need to figure out if I want to do a little stenciling here and there. Or, I got enough pockets. I don't need more pockets. Um, but, you know, this could just be used for writing. So, I could... I don't know where my lines went. I had them yesterday. They're not long lines, though. They could give the illusion of writing space, though. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm not even looking in the right place up there. Oh, shoot. I 
I was, oh man. This my stupid chair was rolling on stuff. Fortunately, it did not roll exactly on this. So, maybe a little bit of um, stenciling here and there. And I just want a little bit of yellow. Oh, uh, not yellow. What do I want? I think I want a little bit of pink is what I'm trying to say. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Let's keep these over here. What's this pink? Angel pink. That might work over here. Let's test it out on something, some random sheet of paper. Yeah, I think that will work. Next to that, um, let's see, but yes, this can be used for writing space. This can be used for writing space. This, right? So, yeah, I do have plenty of writing space in here, I think. Because that is, can be used, that can be used. So good. This is all, you could even with a black marker right on that. So now we're just about the um, making it pretty bits. The part where we make it pretty. And the part where a brush would make my life so much easier. Oops. Well, that's not the one I was using the other day, I don't think. Cool. Okay. Make sure there's nothing super dark on there. And then I'm just going to come up from the corners here. Except for one thing. I don't really want to get it all over the corners of the front. And I will definitely be doing a pocket there, whether I wanted to or not. So... I'm just kind of lining up those a little bit so I can have a little bit straight, I guess. Oh, there's a little bit of brown in here, but that's okay. Well, I can live with that. It's actually kind of cool. As long as it stays that same color when I do this part. <laughs> Probably won't. So yep, yeah, I just wanted to start getting in here and decorating this, um, the pages in here and getting it ready for her to enjoy. Um, let's see this one maybe. So this is, I, I don't know how I usually do this. I've, I've been doing naked journals lately, but I think what I usually will do is kind of go through and take three or four stencils and just kind of alternate them with the, uh, whoa, what was that? Oh, she wants to get up on that table? Probably. No, right. she wants to get up on the TV and stretch out. Oh, what a chart. naughty girl. She's so naughty. So I'm trying to start darker at the end and come out softer so that it's just, yeah, like that. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just kind of doing the corners just to make them at least as pretty as the other side. So I'm starting dark here and coming out lighter as far as I feel I want to. This one I think I'm actually going to do. Oh, see, I can even do this with all the pages because these come out. I forgot about that aspect of, of things. Why is that upside down? I forgot I could do that. That was the whole point of a three ring binder, right? Was so that she would have versatility and be able to take things out and move them around and add new things. Well, that is also the nice, like, if she found a three-ring or even a five-ring binder planner, 
she would have the option of um, using that in here in this in this book because these holes will match up with that all right I've done two pink now I need to do I don't need to now I want to change the color up a little bit which I would have done if I thought of it I would have done I almost want to do something on here. Where's some stuff? Some of seem like some of seem like that should be the bottom. I'm gonna do that. And all right, now we have two blank pages right here. <coughs> I think I'm going to do something on them to pretty them up. So this is how it's gonna go here. Um, I might do here is just make a small tuck, maybe, and then do some stenciling. Oh, this one's going to end up being, which I want mermaid looking. The problem is, all the colors I want are going to be in this area. And you know what I might want to do? That. See, the ocean depth is one of my favorites of the other kind. I have, where's my chipped, that broken china is there. Now I'm looking for, oh, he won't have a color on him. Peacock feathers is what I'm looking for. I haven't marked him yet, so he'll be a naked one in here somewhere. Peacock feathers, yay! And we have some Victorian velvet maybe. And the lipstick doesn't really work. This lemonade is a little dark. Scattered straw. That's a nice light yellow to use. Although, you know me, I really like the honey. Wild honey. I might stick that in there. Just in case. Worn lipstick is a little too worn. You know, I'll stick the ground espresso just because, you know, she likes coffee. Um, tea dye. Old paper. Oh, bundled sage I might want to use somewhere, somewhere, I think it's a little too dark. The purple hydrangea is nice. The Aegean blue, I know how to say it, I just when I read it, as I always say Aegean. I know it's Aegean. I do. I get off my, I watch, I rewatch myself sometimes and I'm like, I know how to say that word. Why can't I just say it right the first time? Not sounds silly. Tattered rose, maybe. All right. Oh, I said maybe with the. Yes, this is a very colorful journal. Can you tell? All right, I'm gonna see real quick. I wanna see if I can make this fun. Are we on? Okay. Um, one, two, now neither one of these were printed on my laser printer, so I should be okay. Takes me a minute to, to find the water and stuff. Okay, right, let's start with this one. Oh, it does go through. And I kind of didn't do it right. So, don't like that. But that's all right. We won't miss this page. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. Let's just stick with some, uh, I will stick with stenciling. That's what I'll do. What was this one? Oh, and I could move that pink one down, but that's okay. I don't think I will. See, these pinks are a little bright to me now, but they'll still work. I'll put these two together. They will still work. 
And I think on this one, I have all that pink there. I want to break up that pink a little bit. So, let's just find something we like. Even if it's just a floor leaf in the corner, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's hard to use texture paste on a cardboard one because you um can't really wash them off. Wish they would sell. I I just well no I did I did see some Florida leaves the other day. I want broken china I think, and I need a different brush because otherwise. Right, this one's. I won't be able to use my pink one again for light pink stuff. I don't want to use that one though. I changed my mind. Oh, look, there's some purple on this. <laughs> we'll get that purple off. And do a little bit more broken china over here. Yeah, it's moving now. All right. I'm going to come up here. And do a little bit up here. Which there's still some purple in there. But I still have some of the broken china at the beginning there too. And, oh wow, that kind of connects. That's kind of cool. Now if I try to do it on purpose, probably won't. There. That's cool. And it's not pink. Writing paper, writing paper, writing paper, pretty paper, and where did my pink brush go? So far I've used, what have I used? I've used this one, this one, and whatever else. This one kind of reminds me of a butterfly. But that's, that's all I want is I just want... I don't want the lines, that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm trying to keep it just in this area right there. And I forgot to back that. So now we have paint going back. Oh, not on there though, fortunately. Good. Let's put this back on here. So that I have in the middle, just right there. That's it. That's all that's happening there. And then here, we have the bright pink again, and then some green. Go ahead and try a little bit more of the broken china again. Only this time, I might use one of my that had blue on it before. I'd rather stay in the blue area. See, you can use a sponge. You don't have to use the brush. You do get a different look because you can see it's quite a bit darker when I'm pouncing like that. And then I'm trying to start at the corner and then go out as it gets lighter, basically. Like that. So pretty. That's not the cover. That's the cover. All right. I need to go find my hair clip. All right. Writing paper, writing paper. Oh, you know, we should stick a, um, a vintage book page in here. I haven't done that yet. Where did they go? That's the question. They're all under here. All right, 
You know what? It says fly there. Let's go ahead and put this book page in here. Since their horse seems to be flying. And as you can see, I was not quite in the middle, but um, I'm going to trim off the top just a tiny bit so it's not sticking out. Well, I'll just do it to the, this cloud thing. There. That should help. All right. And then the fly, and then we have pink and pink. But that does, I mean, she'll move things around, so I don't have to keep it all perfectly perfect, perfect dolly. Um, but I figured this would be a pocket for her prayer journal, and that's why the crowns. Um, because when you're a daughter of the king, of kings, you wear a crown. Or you may have many crowns someday. Depending on how you live your life on earth, I guess. I don't know. See in there, just do the one corner. I don't want it to be all too samey, samey. Alright, so that will be... I'll probably put a label on this as well. And then this can be for writing. Um, let's go ahead and close that. And do a little something something over here, which um, I haven't done any of these types of flourishes yet. Kind of fancy though. Oh, I haven't done any of this yet either. Let's do a little bit. And maybe this time I'll do a little peacock feather. Do all the teals in the... All right, the fan's blowing right on the side of my head. And it is um, kind of irritating me a little bit. Uh, you know, because it's blowing my hair around. And, um, yeah, irritating me a little bit. <laughs> I not like the Harlequin. I do. I like the Harlequin very much. Don't know what it is. I bought a Harlequin. I like it. I like it. I like it like that. I'm trying to match them up. Even though I don't necessarily need them to connect the whole way. I just want them to... There. I got lighter as I went over. And then I think I just might do a little bit of the color in between. So if I don't want it to be like, I'm tapping super lightly so I don't get like circles from the sponge. Does that make sense? But I don't want it like super white there either. There. use brown how in the world oh from the sponge I'm like how do I have brown on my fingers that's how I need to be careful about what I touch because my hands are compromised okay fly that and then this and this and this and some more of this Writing space, writing space, right? It's just all just writing space. And then we have this. And I might put one of these in here. Like this might be fun. Just for something different and fun. And hey, look at me. I'm drawing pictures on the back side of a horse. Which means now we can add a little bit of pink here. As I find them, there it is. And have we done this one or not? I don't know. I guess we're. Oh yeah, we did do this one on something. I can see the blue. Let me do this. Just to. Okay. 
that's not gonna work. Just take the page out, lady. Is it that hard? Yes, it's so hard. <laughs> Some of the blue that was on there spread when I did this, which is fine. There, see, sometimes you can just go in the middle. You can do all the things, the corners, the sides, the middle, the top, the bottom, all the things. And let's Right, we had the weird horse thing, and then we had this aqua, and then I think I'm going to make this a little place to put a to do list. We have some other paper, and I might go ahead and do a little bit of flourish. Where's this? Except, I oh, I do want that one, but I want it like light, like. We do. Yes, perfect. Just light and fluffy. 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 Alright, let's see. I might do. What's this color going to look like? That's the question. Hmm. Not really, that's not the right green, is it? You know what I don't have yet? I don't have any yellow. And this is a little yellowish. So, it's gonna turn out orange if I do this though. Um, looking for something. There's a little bit of my awesome spray. I just closed the awesome spray. Now I opened the awesome spray. Now I'm gonna clean this off because the pink and the purple and the pink and the other colors are okay, but I'm not sure how yet. Don't break your, oh no, <gasps> you are naughty, naughty stencil. And I like the small Harlequin. I got the bigger one, but I really like the small one. Well, I'll just make it look more grungy. There's a whole section missing. That's where we're going with that. Naughty stencil. Such a naughty, naughty stencil. All right. Um, I have the fo hey, fossilized. I was looking for that the other day. What was I just going to do, though? The scattered straw? Yeah, I think scattered straw will work better. Did I just do this? Or did I do I did something else in between? I did a couple things in between, I think. It's not that big a deal. Don't stress out over it. Okay, now I need something to apply color. To apply the color. Le color. Let's get that gross thing out of there. Let's. You know, I'd like to try a brush and see how that works. Just. Might not be able to get enough pressure on there. Oh, I actually like that effect because it's random. It's fairly random. So, and it makes it really light too. If I, where's that should work? So, yeah, that's I think that's good. Except for right there, there's a weird thing. Cover, 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 cover right here. So that was scattered straw, and we have kind of a yellowish over here, and a yellow green over there. And things. 
And I think I'm going to trim off this little white bit right here. Because no one needs to kind of make a tidy in their life. Ooh, then we got a shiny piece. I'm not feeling the need to do every single... See, that's upside down. I gotta go this way. Every single... um. Oh, I do want something to break up that color a little bit. And I... Oh, we just had the yellow, didn't we? Let me see. I'm gonna put the lotus right there. Alright. And if you have a, a dark enough pen, you could even write there. You can write right there. This is going to be another pocket, I think. Which means I don't need a second pocket right after it. Let me figure out what I want to do with that. And, of course, this can be written on. Um, that is light enough to be written on. This can be written on. Let's go ahead and we're doing pink again, maybe. We have pink over here, so I think we'll do some pink. But we are going to let the pink get messed up. I'm just going to leave the blue that's on here and let it mix with the pink and make some, I don't know, hopefully purple and not brown. But Yeah, a little purpley. With, so there's a mix of color in there. I like that. Okay. And I didn't do it exactly like the last one. Alright. That has pink. And that has pink, and this is pink and green. Well, that's that sagey green then, so maybe we will do a little bit of the sagey green. Maybe there is some sagey green in there. Just need a little... Alright, I don't want it to be too dark. Here's... Let me get this paper here. And... All right, you know how many things I have? All right, well, let's see what this one does then. This Dollar Tree brush. See if I can get enough green on there and anything comes off or not. I don't think so. I don't think I can get enough on there is the problem. Nothing's happening. So I'm trying to like squeeze this together so I can get the ink on there better. Alright, I see something on there. And then there's like the slightest bit down here that you can barely see. You can barely, barely see it, but there is something there. I'm going for it. When you want just the slightest something to show, that could work. But maybe you need a juicier, um, uh, juicier ink. All right. Now, uh, we could use a little bit of color here, couldn't we? Um, everything disappears. Let's use that one. I'm going to put this in here. Just, I like it with that. And... Oh, here this is what I was looking for. Now what happened to this? Why... I'll do something with that at some point. Um, 
Oh, let's put a flower. Let's just do a couple of these on the side, maybe. Um, we will do mermaid this time, which will mix a little bit with the peacock that's in there. So I'm just kind of And I might go ahead and do a broken china also in the middle, which is just slightly different. There, fun. Fun, 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 fun till the day is done. All right, now this has these lovely butterflies over here and pops of yellow. So we are going to capitalize on those pops of yellow and we're going to bring something in a little bit different, I think. Do a little bit of, hopefully, I can't tell if it's on there or not, but just a little bit of just hive it up a little bit and I'll make sure I do this at least one more place in the book so it makes sense and I get a little purple on there too apparently <laughs> what did I get on the last oh good no so then there's this one what haven't I used in a little while I haven't used that one at all oh I haven't used any damask yet let's do a little bit of that in this purple hydrangea and actually I'm gonna also grab out my eggplant which is what I want to try this is, the green one wasn't wet enough but the eggplant may be dark enough to get it uh, wet enough to do something just the lightest bit of something. So I'm doing that again, trying to get a good amount on there if I can. And then, just rolling it around and just getting a really light. Put my covers though, that's the eggplant. Told you it's juicy. It's like all over me now. Now where's my other cover? All right, and those can be written on. And let's see, which was the green that was probably the peacock feathers might be a little bit. I'm going to. Try to press down lightly and just like this one for some reason. That's a little darker than I wanted. And I'm trying to go out softer as I go around and as I get it all over my fingers. Here we go. That may end up being a pocket. Eh, maybe not. Anyway, more places to write. And that was peacock feathers. And we have our flowers, more places to write, which maybe we'll do. So we got this green over here, I think. Where's the one I was using for yellow? What was I using for yellow? Oh, the paintbrush. I think I'm going to bring in this fossilized amber, though. It'll be a little bit darker. And I just want to do this daisy down here in the corner. I mean, it's yellow now. It's a Gerber daisy. There we go. Which means I might want to do a little bit of brown in the middle, or maybe I'll just leave it all yellow. Let's see. This is the fossil. Yeah, this was the fossilized amber. I had some honey too. But there we go. 
just a flower down in the corner. That will probably be a pocket to put stuff in. And this is the peat section. So these pages were from, uh, what's his name? Kincaid. Is that right? The artist? It isn't good for a man to be alone. I will make a companion for him. So I'm going to put a tab on this pocket and he gives her notes and stuff. So that will be a pocket for that. And then just some nice little sentiments. And I know she likes that artist. And look how pretty that looks against that blue. And this I'll glue down, make a pocket. This is just another beautiful Kincaid with Romance Thrives in beautiful, quiet settings. Um, and then this, she can put pictures um, on those and write and do all the things. Uh, let's see. We've got our butterflies over here. I think I might do a little bit of pink. Some, oh, <laughs> I thought I was putting the cover over there. No, I wasn't. So I will get a little purpley pink when I do this, but that's all right. It's pretty. It's perfect is what it is. This color is what it ends up being. And I try to start darker. I try to start at the corner so I come out lighter as I continue. I actually think I got more of the purple off of there than I had pink from here, but it's it's beautiful. I love it. Okay. I love it. There we go. It was almost perfect. All right, what's over here? Just really subtle. Oh, some roses and whatnot. And then there's some purple, which to me does not work against that particular color. Let me see. Um, it could work against the gold though. So let me move some things around. Of course, she'll be able to move things around as much as she wants. Now, let's see. This works beautifully. And then, don't bend the pages. This works nicely with that, and I think I'll put this one at the end so that you have that pop of color when you close it up. And it's all right there, I think. All right, so did we get all our pages or did I like forget some at the end because I was being, uh, so we got pocket place to put pictures, pocket, place to put pictures, place to write. Just want to add a little bit of, I said I would go ahead and do, what color was that one? Let's do a little bit of, ooh, we got that blue, pink. I mean, this color is the color I would want, huh? Well, I'll just do some pink. Some pink of this. It is a lovely pink. And it's even lovelier if I don't do that. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? You know how you fix that? Whoops. First off, this would be a great place to put this as a pocket. What was this? This was the beautiful butterflies. All right. And... I think I will put a corner pocket on there and that will cover a multitude of sins. I think I'm going to put this one here. Nah, they're waving goodbye. Let's put them at the end. Goodbye. Just to be silly. All right, that's doubled over. Um, oh, this could use a little something, couldn't it? And this is closer to a peacock feather. Do I want that? Oh, you know, I also forgot to put in the constellations. I 
That doesn't make sense there. I needed something to break up all this. So that will work there. And the fishing party. Maybe we'll stick that. Here, just to add a pop of color. Pop in the color in there. Anything else that I have here ready to go in? I think everything else is just from other projects that just got pushed over here. Oh, still got to do the back. So, I'll do the back. And I may go back through and do a little bit more stenciling. And then hopefully the next time you see me, I will hopefully be making some tags and whatnot. But I think I've probably gone long enough. <laughs> Have a delightful day, everybody. Much love.